welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a full-on tutorial and etc. on how to use the Got To Be Glued hair gel stuff for your lace frontal wigs. So if you want to know all the goods, then please keep watching. Hey everyone, so the first thing you want to do is just put all of the hair back. So right now I'm just brushing it all back and then I'm going to use a cute little clip to clip it back into place. You can also use a hair tie, but I decided to use a clip. After clipping the hair back, you're going to move the wig back just a teeny bit and then use some rubbing alcohol and just rub that all along the perimeter of your hair. And this is just going to really clean the surface to make sure there's no dirt, oils, makeup, or anything like that and help the glue stick much better. Now, you don't need to do any kind of vigorous rubbing. You just really want to graze the area and that should be good enough. So now I'm going to take my preferred gel and I'm going to use the black gel and I'll tell you guys why later in the video. And I'm just going to take that gel and pretty much rub it all along my perimeter of my hairline. As you guys can see, I'm not putting it right onto where my edges start. It's pretty much just sort of on my forehead area. <laughs> And this is really, really key because if you put it right onto your hairline, it makes it a little more challenging to remove it. You may end up pulling out your edges and things like that. So I would go a little bit farther away from your edges. After popping a thin layer of glue onto the perimeter of my hair, I'm then going to take my blow dryer and just lightly blow all of the areas that I put the gel on. When you're doing this, you don't want the gel to be completely dry, but you do want to do it for maybe 30 seconds to where it gets pretty tacky and much more sticky. And then after about 30 seconds to a minute, you should be able to just go ahead and pop your wig right onto where you put the gel. As you guys can see in the video, I'm using my fingers just to press lightly on to the perimeter of the wig so that it lays flat against my skin and really bonds with the gel. And it should stick fairly well, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and use your hair dryer again and just blast it a little more to make sure it's fully dry. And then I'm just going to finish off the rest of my head pretty much following the same steps. So I'm applying the gel and then I'm going to blow dry it for at least 30 seconds to a minute so that it gets pretty tacky and sticky. And then I'm just going to lay it right onto my face, my skin, <laughs> whatever. And then I'm going to use my fingers to really make sure that the edges of the wig line up to my skin and then blow dry it again. When you're using the blow dryer, you can use pretty much any temperature you want. What I like to do is switch between hot and cold so that it's not too hot so that it burns my skin and it's not too cold so that it doesn't really dry. And then once you've gone around the entire perimeter of your head, that is pretty much it. This is honestly the fastest, easiest, and simplest way to use the Got To Be Glued Gel. It works amazing every and any time that you use this method. So this is why this is the best method that I think when you're using the Got To Be Glued Gel. So now in these next few clips, I'm just styling my hair in my normal and usual way, which is just creating a part and then using the blow dryer to really make sure that my part or the hair by my part is laid down pretty flat and nice. And then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer on a very small brush and use that to define my part and also get rid of that little line of demarcation between the wig and my skin. And then I just like to use my blow dryer once again to get my hair a little flatter. After that, that's pretty much it and it's usually all I do for my hair. So now I will talk to you guys about everything that you need to know about the Got To Be Glued gel. So now that you guys have seen the demo on how to use this for your lace frontal wigs, I thought I'd pop in just to tell you guys a little more about the Got To Be Glue. Um, how long it lasts and all that stuff since I got a ton of questions on the last video I did using these products. So number one, 
the big difference is there's a yellow bottle and there's also a black bottle. Now, really and truly the only difference is the color and also the consistency of the product. So the yellow bottle, this comes out as a white gel and then this one comes out as a clear gel. Now this one is a lot thinner than this one. That's pretty much the only difference. I would probably recommend getting the black gel bottle just because this is clear. So when you're applying it, it's not going to give you a white, weird coloration because it's not natural looking at all. <laughs> so definitely go with the clear. However, this one isn't bad either. You can still use this one if this is all that they have in the store that you're in. You can still use this. You just have to use a little bit of product at a time to avoid the white casted look. Another question that I got on my last video was how long does this product last? And the answer to that is not long at all. This is literally just a hair gel. I think a lot of the confusion that people had on the last video was that they thought it was a real glue or that people just in general think it's a real glue and it's not. It's just a hair gel. So it's not going to last that long. If it gets in contact with any kind of moisture or water or liquid, it's going to remove itself. Um, so if you're working out, if you're showering, if you're just sweating profusely, it will loosen up the glue and it will loosen up your wig as well. So with that being said, it doesn't take a whole lot to remove it. Um, if you really want, you can just <laughs> rip it right off your head if it's not so far close to your edges. If you're applying it directly onto your edges, I would suggest to maybe wash it and do all that stuff to remove it. That way you're not disrupting your edges or pulling them out. And that's pretty much it. If you're like me and it's not going directly onto your edges, then you can literally just rip it off. It's not gonna affect anything and it doesn't hurt to take it off either. But other than that, I would just say get it wet and it will immediately come off. So, I think I answered as many questions as I could think of. There weren't a whole lot, and it's really nothing to it. It's a very simple process to use. You just really have to keep playing with it and finding things that work for you. In this tutorial, this was just the method that I found to be the absolute best out of everything that I've been trying. And if you guys want, I can show you guys the other methods that I've been using as well. And you guys can be the judge on what is the best. But this one, to me, is just the best that I have found. Anyway, other than that, if you guys have any other questions on the Got To Be Glue Gel, please leave them below and I will answer all in any comments that I do get. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye!